And so everything is just going to be there. And uh, of course, if you're a member, you just download it, right? And as I said, it's free. How many of you have registered on that group? Not not meetup, not meetup.com. Power Beat is pbiusergroup.com slash Lagos. PBI. Let me see. I think I had a page. I had a slide where I was. Yeah, this was the website. So just a reminder for those that came late, Power, Power BI of course is Microsoft product. So they set up user groups all over the world in various cities wanting to do this thing. So many cities around the world right now, this is happening in many cities around the world. And everybody learning from each other, right? So and uh, the whole idea is we build a community around this tool and uh, then we'll be able to share our ideas and all that kind of stuff for free for ourselves and we grow. And so for Nigeria, it's pbiusergroup.com slash Lagos. Uh, when registering this, when it started, when, when I was registering it, I was like, okay, yes, Fabia is nice. I'm an Excel guy. I come from the Excel side. There's some people that come from the analytics side, some people that come from the database side, SQL side. But the funny thing is, everybody's coming from different sides, and Fabia is like the hub. So they're all coming from different sides, and we're all using the same technology. Or at least the new technology is going to be the same. And then we now come into this power BI for the visualization. The most important thing is no matter how wonderfully technical or excellent you are, if you cannot tell a story, that's the most important thing. You need to learn how to tell stories. So yes, we do the data, we make all things look nice, but if you can't tell a story in front of top management, you really wasted your time. You can't get that promotion, you can't really move on. You need to learn storytelling. Who is the first person that came today? Who is the very first person? Okay, can I, can I stand up? Can I stand up for a question? Thank you very much. Yes, just stand up, stand up, stand up. Your name, sir. Sorry? Uche, Uche. Okay, who, has, who knows Uche? Because you should have talked to each other. Who knows Uche? Okay, can I introduce Uche? Please. <laughs> <laughs> so, introduce Uche. You met him today, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so a small introduction. Okay, everyone, I'm very glad to. So I give it to Uche, um, the thing is, when it comes to data, you, you really need to learn visualization. How do I visualize it in a way that when people see it, they're like, ah, insights are coming in because your presentation is showing the correct visuals. And to do that, you need to understand numbers. You need to be able to show the numbers. To whoever it is representing. Now, one of the best people in the world for me, in my research when I was trying to learn this stuff, one of the best people in the world is Stephen Few. He is spelled S T E P H E N F E W, Stephen Few. He is an ex excellent guy when it comes to visualization for business. He's not an IT guy or stuff, he's just, he knows how to visualize data for business. And when it comes to visualizing data for business, it's the same worldwide. We have actual data. We want to compare it to something like budgets, or compare it to something like same period last year, or same period last month. And then we want to know whether or not are we in the good zone, are we almost meeting targets? And then also you want to see projections to a certain time. No matter what business it is, it's the same thing. So is it sales data? Is it technical data? Is it uh, uptime up for the database or whatever it is? So we're going to give, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, Uche a book from Stephen Few. So he's just one that book. So this one, show me the numbers. It's a book, very plenty book. It's very happy. Oh. Yes. Thank you. So it's a book, you Thank you, thank you. So please read it. Please read it. So it's a really, it's a really good book. Show me the numbers. To really explain a little bit of statistics, not the top one in school. The very tiny statistics and how do you show the numbers? How does it make sense? Right? So please join this, uh, join our group. Let me ask one of two more questions and then I'll jump into my brief demo. Do you want us to finish on time? Um, 
where I think we asked this question. What was this question? So just analyzing. This was okay. This was the Office 365. So we're mostly 2016 and 365. So we have advanced people here. Oh, some, okay. Somebody has passed. Perfect. Perfect. So we help with our demo. With the small demo I have. Uh, we asked this question. We have some people that are average. I can hold my own. Okay. And we have some experts in the house come to me for advice. Please, you need to be a volunteer speaker. Yeah, because we're going to have a small meeting, I told you. Just a 20 minute meeting as an official Power BI user group. But some are unofficial. You haven't joined, but you are official. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, ne next question. People are already answering this one. Can you quickly answer this? What word comes to mind when uh, you, what word comes to mind when you think of Excel? Just thinking of Excel, what word comes to mind? Just type the word that comes to mind. Don't be influenced by the words that are there, just type them. As the words are coming to mind, uh, please work with the volunteers for the last um, um, presentation. Can you just stand up, please? The volunteers, the ones that volunteered their email addresses. Can you stand up? Yes. I need to look back. She has a prize for you. So have, a, have a, some nice shirts from Microsoft. I don't like what I'm doing. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Can we give them a hand, please? Thank you. Okay, so these are the words that come to mind. Some of this, that's my interesting stuff. So data analysis magic. Mm, interesting. So no horror, okay? I know some people are so when I ask this question, some other place is like terrible. Horror. <laughs> Stress. Yes. Yes. Well, difficult. Yeah, difficult. Yeah, yikes. Yikes. Uh -huh. yikes. Daunting. Uh -huh. Computation, <laughs> fantasy, <laughs> fantasy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> fantasy football, sell, mm. so yes. This invoice. Invoice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's not the use of invoice. <laughs> <laughs> send that invoice, send that invoice. <laughs> I like that, I like that. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. So I'll be asking more questions. Let me just open uh, the eye. So this is. This is the, um, I don't know, for, how many people use Power BI? Okay, maybe, maybe let me find out first, sorry. That's the next question, let me, let me find out. Okay, first of all, rate your Power BI. What's your experience with Power BI? Let me just know the power. Uh, Interesting. Very interesting. So I have never used it. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's good to have feedback. It's so important. You can imagine you go to a place, you're talking to a thousand people, and you want to do one advance, this something, row context and trans context transition. And you think you're so tight. You don't have that presentation. Everybody's looking at you like this. <laughs> and then the ratings come, you just get them all rubbish, good nonsense. That's what happens. So it's very good to get feedback. Very important to get feedback. And guess what? This is to guess what's happening. Data is flowing and entering this thing and see, right? And guess how much this costs? Zero. Although it costs me a lot of money, actually. It costs, it costs zero up if you have up to 20 audience. I think it's free. But let me give you a website that is zero regardless of the size of the audience. Because this is very useful. Um, it's called, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Socrative, yes, yes. Yes, Socrative. S O C I can't spell. Socrative. C S O C R A T I B E dot com. So Socrative.com. You go there and uh, all you do is you become a teacher and then you have students. So you go in as a teacher, you set up your questions, and then you once you come to the audience, you put it up, the question is there, everybody goes to the room. You know, you went to the deep room. So you go to the room, answer, and you see it, it's all free. This one is Poll Everywhere, Poll Everywhere, that's this one. Poll Everywhere. It has a little bit more functionality than Socrative. It, it connects to your PowerPoint and is very clean. And so is that why you went to the live word cloud as well? Yes. So if, if Socrative, I think Socrative has it now, but I'm not sure. The live word cloud is really cool. It's a very cool way to engage your audience. I was telling you, and I said, everything is about presentation. So me learning, yes, I like Excel, I like Power BI, but frankly speaking, if you are very determined, you can learn it yourself, sitting at home. I tell people this every presentation I, I make. I say, what stops you from learning a new skill? Can someone just answer, what stops you? Okay, well, aside from you, where to start? Where to start? That's a good one, where to start? Okay, interest. Okay, then that means it's a skill that your boss has said, go and learn it. <laughs> I'm mean, more thinking about a skill you really already have an interest. So, yes, but if your boss says go and learn it, please go and learn it. I love that, not so easy. Time. Yeah, time. 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 Where to start. Information overload. Information overload, where to start. Very true. <laughs> That one, I don't have that either. Procrastination. Yes, anybody else? Resources. Okay, maybe he is saying too much resources. You are saying resources. So, it's too much resources. Because, right? Yeah, the tool to use. So, there's so much information, there's so much noise everywhere, scattered everything. So, all that data, you need someone to help you filter it. Because it's too much data. So how you get someone to filter is you go and look for influencers. Go and look for who are the top people. So I give you an example. When us, our team at the back, and us were trying to create a course, we are so sticklers for detail. We'll go to the whole world. Who is the expert in financial modeling? I flew to UK and had a discussion with them and this and this and this. All the discussions came back, did research, 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 research. Unfortunately, if you use my approach, you'll be a former. <laughs> so if you put in all that research and everything, they will now develop one crazy course, and then the course broke it down, and blah, blah, blah. the other day we created the course, and about two years, probably cost us, if you actually calculate the time, probably to a million now, to develop a financial modeling course, right? Because we, we needed to look for, and this was before the age of the real, real internet, so look for who are the influencers, they go to US, UK, who are the best in the UK, UK, London, and eventually you have a very good course. But then when you do that, you need to market it. How many of you know or like sales and marketing? Sales and marketing, you like sales and marketing. Highly unfortunate for the rest of you. Everybody must like sales and marketing. You need to market yourself. So if you know how to market yourself, you can market anything. Because at the end of the day, Yes, you learn power there. You can't market yourself. Sorry. You really need to learn that. It's a soft skill that is so, so important. Very important. And one big problem for people learning new skills is usually time. So what I tell people is this. You live three lives a week, every single day. You live three lives. Every day. Three lives. You walk for eight hours. You sleep or rest for eight hours. 
What I do in the last eight hours? one of your best friends when it comes to developing yourself, right? When you no, even if you drive, driving or not driving, entering bus. When I started my career in Anderson, I mean, I was in the bus. Sometimes you go in the bus from Aja, no Aja, no, where was I then? To Milan, then I went to Aja. I don't know why. But anyway, enter. Look at what happens. See what just happened. I typed the formula in Excel. It has brought me a unique list of states. See. Is Lagos State in here? Okay, let, let's let's go and type. Why is Lagos State not here? Lagos State. Let's let's just let's just type Lagos here. <coughs> so Lagos is inside our data. I know there's no local government called that data. It's fine. Let's let's go there. So let's come to where where we control. Okay. Any Lagos? Yes. Right. It has expanded everything fine. Perfect. Now this data. Won't it be nice to kind of sort it alphabetically? Sure. How do you do that in Excel? You go to data, right? And uh, sort, isn't it? Excellent. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's another function. Let me just come to the beginning of unique. The new function called sort. Open my bracket. And then I go to the end of the formula and I just close my bracket. And I enter. Sorting by yeah, sorting by reverse. And I just go to the what's it called function f whatever two yes, and the sort has various options. So I do comma, then it says what sort index. Then it says sort order. Let me just say sort order, and the option is ascending or descending. Uh, is it descending you wanted? Descending or something. Let's say enter. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. So if somebody goes and decides to type some nonsense here or delete here, press delete. Now if you look at it, the first formula, if you look at the formula bar, is clear. Very in the formula bar is clear. The rest are kind of grayed out. Right? If I delete this, it will not I don't I don't agree. It's not, not going to allow. Well, I feel very stubborn. I type inside here. I enter. There's a new error function that's going to, error message that's gonna come up. Spill. Okay? So, from spill. so what spill means in this new Excel is I'm trying to spill information. Why are you disturbing me? Yeah? So so you it will I have removed those error messages. I don't like them. So but if you have the error message tell you where the where the obstruction is, please remove this guy. Yeah? So I'll just I'll be and remove the guy. Delete. It spills back. Right? So this is the new Excel. There's just two functions I've shown you. I'll show you some more. Now, if I look at this list, look at this, I'm coming to mapping now. I need a unique list of states. I could do the same thing here. Sort, unique, well, why stress? I've done it somewhere else. I check equals to. I go to that somewhere else, which is in control. Yep. You know, the normal way you use array formula, when you have time. Yes. In this case, you don't, right? I don't. Yeah. Now, so any array, cell. yes, any array you now type, it will just fill. So even I can't even do the old one anymore. It's arrays. Although there's something called single and at, but I don't do that. Anyway, so here I select, you know, is this cell that started doing that spilling thing? I click on it. When I click on it, look at the formula very well. Control, this, uh, something, uh, E6. I enter, well, nothing really happens. But look at what happens when I modify this formula a bit. If I want to refer to something that has a spill or something, I put this new thing, hash. I put hash at the end, then it spills. Now, it can't spill. See what's stopping it at the bottom? Map. Map. And map, please, can you move? Let me take it control D, take it down there, and then I delete this one, delete. It spills. Yeah? Can you see that? Some people are looking at this. No, it's not. <laughs> what, what happened to my old Excel? <laughs> so so, so that, is, that is how it is. That's, that's Excel. So this, this is the new function. I've shown you sort. There's also sort by. I'll leave that one. I've shown you unique. 
There are some two, couple of other ones. I don't know if you have seen it. Yeah. There's one in very particular I'll show you. I don't want to go over, over, over time. But let me show you some other things in the new Excel engine. So if this is, this is a new thing, right? So I want to use something else. So I can't use this new thing without something else. I'm just going to copy, paste special values, yeah? And then enter. So now, the next thing I want to do is, I need all these things to give me information. Now, this information is going to give me is live. It goes to the internet, pulls the information from the internet, and dumps it live. And how you do that is you convert to a new data type called geography. So if you see information that looks like geography, on that data, there's a new data type. This is available in Office 365 already. We spill and all those things are not available in Office 365. They're still fixing some bugs, some small, small bugs. I think they said it's going to be released like next month. So if you have Office 365, those unique and stuff will start working maybe next month, I'm not sure. Right? You want to fix some things first. But they give us the so called experimenters, the insiders. Yeah, but you can be an insider, I'll show you how. So if I click geography, so geography now goes and checks everything we can get. Does it recognize it online? Is there anything about it it recognizes? And I don't recognize everything there. Yes, and then it changes it to state and stuff. So this is now a new data type called geography data type. So if I click on Yobi, for example, and I say, hey, Yobi, you are the new data type. And this new data type is a rich data type. We call it rich data types. Because I can click on this funny thing that comes up here and say, you know what, I want to see what's the capital. Let me see if you know that here. What's the capital of Yobi? Uh, no, uh, no people sound there. <laughs> <laughs> So I put capital, see? Damatu. I click on it, I go to the edge and I double click so everybody else has his own. Right? I come here again and I said, you know what, I need the um, I don't know, what's the largest city in in UK? I don't know, Funia, never heard of it. I come to the edge, double click. Yes. At least the Lagos, where is Lagos? No, I Lagos. Lagos. Lagos is Lagos, right? Lagos are Okay, then I come to the I come here again, I say, okay, I need population. Is there population there? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. So I guess maybe it's right. I don't know what census figures it uses, but this is the latest information on that. Why is it pulling from data? It's pulling it from Bing. So it just goes to Bing, and then there's a way that algorithm works that it pulls data. You saw what Michael showed you about stocks. It's the same kind of thing, but it's inbuilt now. Inbuilt. So who are the, okay, let's see, let us see if this thing is smart. You know we just had elections, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I know you don't know any of the governors in other states, you know Lagos State. So let's just check. Uh, where is the leader? I think it has leaders. Leader. Okay. I don't know if this is true. Obviously the governor has not resumed office. <laughs> Everywhere we know him now. Yes, my wife is now. This is yes. 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 Because of this, we can use our old Excel tricks, right? We can say, you know what, I don't like to see this kind of thing. So, old Excel guys already know this. It's a simple formula that says, if yes. error. If error, right? Yeah. Error will work with that. So, I can say, if error, if error. You can see how simple this thing is. It's not as complex as our old Excel. Well, it's just like magic, really. And then I come, if there's an error, what do I do? What's blank in Excel? Double close, double close. Double close. And I close my bracket, enter. Then I double click, right? So this works nicely, yeah, it's not bad, pretty good, right? And with this information, for example, I can decide I'm going to insert a map, which is another new thing they've added, which I think is very smart. They have this new map thing, which has been there for a while, actually. If you click on this map thing, it kind of creates a map of Nigeria, and uh, it's supposed to, if my internet is good, and this is a good visual. I can now change. The visual, let me see. Are you coming? Are you coming? So, internet. So, let me go to the chart design and let's change the data a little bit. 
So currently, I have Kathleen. What's that? Uh, not just city, let's just remove the guys. I don't need population is the key thing. I don't need the leaders. Let's remove maybe to recalculate itself. Let's say this is edit population, show me by the population. Let's say okay. So let's see if this works. Right. My internet is on, we're supposed to see Nigeria show. Yeah? Nigeria doesn't want to show. So let's do that. Okay. Nigeria show. So, so that's that's examples. You can do other amendments and stuff, plenty of things you can do. But let me jump to something else. But this is cool, isn't it? Super. Uh, super, super cool. So how did you insert the map? I just click anywhere, anywhere in the data and just But ideally, how you should do it is this. Have your states, then have your values next to it. So you don't have a complexity of many things. And then just visualize. Like even this visual is not really correct as far as I'm concerned. I wanted to visualize this on the figures. Uh, population, or is it based on the population? Let me see. I think it's based on. Uh, yeah, so, so if I edit this, current values followed by numeric value. Map, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but it's supposed to be based on the values itself. By the way, let's move on to something else. Quick, quick, quick. I'll show you something else. Yeah, so now. This data, let me just quickly show you a small demo of something interesting, the other quick tools, okay? Are you okay? Should I go on? Sure. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. You know, of course, we've really gone over time. So, um, the array, this is your dynamic arrays, okay, what's this? New data. Okay, yeah, so one of the main guys that invented, or that helped Microsoft to do this, is a guy that used to be a financial modeler. Used to be a top financial modeler, he's working in Microsoft now. And I just love the fact that I used to do financial modeling and stuff. So you can tell them what the real people need that use Excel very well. So he's, he's kind of spearheading this in Microsoft. When it comes up, I'll see. I don't know if my internet is working. Yeah, his name is, what's his name again? Yeah, Joe. Can't be done. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this is him saying preview. I'll send you all these links on the. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's quickly do one interesting experiment here. Show how complex you can build stuff with this thing. Very, very quick. So I'm going to get my unique list of states. Give me the best, fastest way to do that. Unique list of states. You want to do the same formula like, again. Okay, let's say sort. Uh, sort what? So, um, unique. Uh, unique. Is that unique? Yeah. Can't really see that. Yeah. Okay, here, give me feedback. Unique. Then what do I do? I go to data. Now, I've converted this to a table. There's something called table. Insert table. Always try, when you get your data, don't just use it like that. Convert it to a table. You do that by going to insert. Once you go to insert, you will see table. So you've converted, or oh, you do control T. That's the shortcut. Oh, now I messed up. The same, don't help, I don't need help. Help is actually better than before, by the way. Very cool help. Not like before, help was helpless. <laughs> okay, I don't know if the formula looks right, does it? Does it look right? How many times should I close my bracket? Twice. Twice. Then I enter, it spills, right? Now, there's a new function that gives you random numbers. Anybody do Monte Carlo simulation here? This is superb for Monte Carlo simulation. So here I'll say equals to, I want to give me random numbers using the new function called rand array. What is rand array? Yeah. What's the last one? Oh, rand array. So rand array, can you read what it says in this? For rand array, the first one is what? Rows. Okay, so how many rows do I want this thing to show me? You know, most times when you're writing a formula that needs to give you plenty of things, it's one cell you will now write it in. Yeah. Once you write it in one cell, it will spill. So I want to write a formula in one cell and I want it to spill precisely the same size as what I have to the left. Don't you think so? Right? So it doesn't spill more or less. So you know it's already in Excel. It's count A. Counter, right? I don't know if that's counter. Yes. I'm going down, is it? So yes. that's it. The counter. So counter. I'm going to counter an argument. No, not counter an argument. Counter what? Counter. Now, somebody will do this in old Excel. 
highlight like this. But that is not good enough. You go to it and you put your hash. You've forgotten that hash. Remember the hash? Very harsh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that hash is what gives you the spill. Then hash and then what? Um, what next? What's the next for rendering? Comma. Say so how many columns do you want it to be? So if you say two columns, then it's going to fill it in two columns. You just want one column. So it's one column. It's fine. Then um, minimum. What should I use for minimum? Let's use this thing at the top. I'll do my normal F4 to lock. F4, which is Oh, this thing, okay, F4, then comma, um, what? I don't actually need to lock. We're writing a formula in one cell, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't need to lock anything. You understand? Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's just pretend we need to lock. So I go to max. Now, integer means you want the answers to be an integer, but let's see what it gives without the integer thing. Let's enter. So look at that. So it's giving me random numbers between 30 and what? 999. But this is not a, a whole integer, so I need to come here and change. Maybe I want integer, I want it to So I, I do this, I say comma, right? And then the option is what? What are the options? True, true. True. So I go to true, I close my bracket and I enter. Now it's whole numbers. Now, one report that many people do is bins. They bin things. Zero to this, this to that, this to that, this to that. So I want to create some bins. So the bins I want to do is this I want to create 10 bins. I want to create 10 bins of data. So, zero to something, this to that, this to that, this to that, bins. And then I want to now see the frequency of things that are coming in each bin. Okay? Yeah. Now, if I come to this bin thing, I can say equals to, and I want to create 10 bins. So, I'm going to use a new function called sequence. Okay? It's a new, one of the new functions. How many have we mentioned so far? I want to see if I can quickly do six. You need sort. You already know sort by hash. Sorry? Rather. 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 And now sequence. Fine. So there's only one more function left. Yes, that's cool. Uh, what time? Five. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll finish very soon. Sequence. Okay, so sequence. What are the options, please? Rows. Columns, start, step. Okay. Mm. A step. I think step. Step. Yeah. So rows is what? A rows. How many rows oh, do we need? What? No. Think about. It. We're creating bands. How many bands do we need? Ten. 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 Good. So in this cell up here, right? Yeah. Ten. Yes. Uh huh. So how many columns? Zero to that. But actually, we just have one column. We we'll do the other one separately. So let's say one, comma. Um, starts. starts. You will start from zero, obviously. You're going to start from zero. Then comma, um, steps. 99. 99, 99 yes. So um, if I come up here to 99, if you think about it, first one is going to start at zero. So something. The next one is 100. 100. So 99 will be right. We have to add one to it, right? 99 plus one. So I close my bracket and I enter. And it gives me a list. Can you see that? Right. Pretty cool. So I come to the next bin here. I say equals to, and I do another what? Sequence. Right. Sequence of what? Sequence of how many rows? Same cell. Right. And then comma. And how many columns? One. Comma. How many? What is it? Start. So this one is zero to ninety-nine. So it's going to start. By this, I think, right? Yes. Then comma steps. Ninety nine. Mm. Yes, yes, ninety nine. Okay. Okay. So the next one will be what? Ninety nine. The next one will be one ninety nine. So hundred. Perfect. See some mathematicians here. Nice. So ninety nine plus one. Close bracket. Enter. Uh, enter. I think close bracket. Okay. This this sign means I'm about to crash. Don't crash, don't please. Things are going well. Okay. Alright, it looks fine. I think, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. So now come here and we say, okay, no, we want the bits to be only five. Look up. Five, it reduces. Perfect. So it's I want the bins to be twenty. Yeah. Okay. It's it's so simple, it's like crazy. So anyway, 
we come here, we're going to do a small complex formula. What I want to do is this. I want to find out the names of the states. I want it to show me the names of the states between 0 and 99. So it should show something like this. Lagos, maybe comma, Abuja, comma, Oyo, comma, like that. Just list out those that fall into those brackets. Now this is how you can get more complex. <laughs> so in Excel, you know what to do. You'll say if, if, for example, um, yeah, if a logical test. Okay, so the logical test is, normally you say if this cell is greater than that cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of that, I'm going to come to this cell and I'm going to say that your hash thing. Mm -hmm. Now, you've already broken rules of Excel completely. This thing said logical test. It's not tests, not plural, test. So test means one cell. But here I'm giving it a spill. Which means I'm testing plenty of things. In old Excel, it will never work. To give you one error, and you need to know that you need to highlight the range and do one math formula. The formula for what I'm about to do is like this. Now, let's see. So anyway, this hash thing, we're check checking it to see if it is uh, greater than, I think, greater than what? Yeah, so maybe, no, greater than or equal to maybe this cell, right? Yeah, okay, that's true. It's greater than or equal to the whole thing, isn't it? No, no, they do. No, it's only one place. It's only one cell. Okay, it's one cell. So let's just, for, we need to lock this. Because this is old Excel we're using now. Old Excel. So I'll lock that. Should we lock this too? Maybe since we're dragging it down, we should probably, we're going to drag this the old Excel way. Yeah. So I'm using old Excel and new Excel. Sorry, guys, we're almost done. I know this is so strange to you, but it's fine, don't worry. F2, how do I lock? F4, 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 this one. Okay, so this is the first test. Well, we have two tests. Yeah. In bold Excel, you say and. and. I don't want to bother you, and will not work. And is not going to work. There's something about the new Excel and the and and some, I can't start explaining the technical reason why it's important. So the, the way it will work is if you put a bracket around this first um, argument or logic and multiply it, yeah, and then we multiply it by the new logic, the next one, which will be the same cell, which I do an F4, 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 and I put a hash to make it spill, is it? Yes. Yes. So the same thing, but this time what? Less than or equal to what? Uh, uh, this, this, this one, right? Yes. And oh, yeah, I should need to just lock it. I just need to lock it. Yeah, I need to lock it. That's right. right. Then I close the bracket. So now, you're saying if all of you are greater than or equal to this guy, and all of you are less than or equal to that guy, um, then the next thing after is then, right? Yeah. Then, um, then give me. All of these guys, right? Yes. What do I do to make it? Uh, you see, guys yes, are very harsh. So, <laughs> very, very harsh. Nice. So, to uh, make uh, G9 a recursive reference as well. Mm, yeah, I don't need so G. What we did is we locked the column, and when you lock the column, you're saying that anytime I go right, don't change. So since I'm never going right, I'm going down. It doesn't matter. Lock it or not lock it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so this is value if true, value if false. I just want a blank. Okay, so it's going to be a problem now when I do enter. Just watch. It's going to be a small problem. Right. Why don't you explain the problem? Anybody can explain the problem. So what I've just done is I've said what is inside zero and ninety nine. If you check this list, what are the two states? Cross river and so it has done the answer for one zero to ninety nine, and it's spilled it. The problem is I don't want it. I want it in a cell. So when you want a spill, a range in a cell, you need to use something called an aggregator. The aggregators we need know is sum. Sum is an aggregator. Average is an aggregator. Say average plenty things. One answer. Sum plenty things. One answer. Right. So what we need to do is say, do you know what? We're going to use a new function, which I think is already in Office 365. We're going to use text join. Yeah? 
So we're going to use text join. So text join is a new function. So we're going to say, hey, text join. I want you to join. What's text join asking for? Delimiter. So delimiter means what are you separating these things with? I want you to text join, uh, let me say, double quote. I like this pipe thing. I don't know why I like it. This pipe. And then double quote. Yeah? Comma. Now, this pipe, let me put a space before it and a space after it. Just give me the Right. So the next thing it asks for is ignore empty. What does that mean? Yes, it should ignore, I think. <laughs> yes. Ignore. Ignore empty. Yes. Ignore empty. And then, can you see the next thing? Text, text one. Well, it's not text one I want. It's one funny togetherness. Well, hopefully it will work. So let's see. Is it only federal capital? Let's check. Let's increase, let's increase the bin size to 250 so the bin sizes are bigger. Can you see that? Interesting, right? So I come here, and I come here, to the edge, and I double-click. Right. David. Yes, sir. Would concatenate have done it? No, no, that's it. Concatenate won't give you the... the concatenate and use... So concatenate is an old function, and we are trying to... Let, let me show you something about those funny functions. Look at this. See concat, concatenate, right? Any function, guys, any function you see a yellow mark, it means it's to be phased out. Ah. Yes. <laughs> it means to be phased out. You get, and it means there's a new function that replaces it that is more powerful. So what replace concatenate is concat. It's something called concat. Yeah? So but text join is even more powerful than this. So this is the end of my demo, guys. Excel has changed, and there are many things here. Go to the formula, okay? Funny looking formula, look at this. Excel has changed seriously. So look at it. Some hash signs and some funny things and all that. Who uses data validation here? If you use data validation, you can use hash too. So go to data validation, list validation. Inside the formula say equals to, let me just quickly show you that. When you want to use data validations in this new thing, you can't change all your old arrays. You don't need to do that. So it will take a while for those that build plenty arrays. Right? So this is the end of the demo side, guys. It was a lot. It was it hard? So we're just looking at the. So this is, this is one year ahead. I'll show you one year ahead in Excel, right? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yes, but I know we have time up, but I left the last one. I haven't told you the last one. The last one, unfortunately, if you can't, just give me a second. I'm just going to type Lagos here, right? Well, no, Lagos doesn't have many things. Give me a state that you know was there. Plenty. Abia Abia State. Uh, let's say market, no, market, line of business. I don't know what line of business it is. Trading. Trading, or that trading? Spare parts. Spare parts, okay. <laughs> I like that, okay, parts. Okay, yeah, very yeah, right, very right. Parts, 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 Where's, where are we? Uh, okay, parts, right? Parts, 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 parts. Um, let's say, I think the data is from where to where? First of April. First of April, 2015, 2014, 2015. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's say I want data from the 1st of April uh, 2014 to, I don't know, um, 30th of June 2013. Right. Now, this is cool. This is all you need to do. Now we're going to create a table that mimics this, that just automatically gives us this, almost like a paper table does. Yeah, in fact, the same as paper table does. First thing I'm going to do is type an equals to sign. I need the entire headings of this. Sorry, the head. Okay. Yes. Okay. And um, I come here and I highlight this. This highlight. Uh, no, I don't want one. I want just the headings. Can't you use the name of the headings? No, it's just the headings, not one one. Okay. Let me go left because the mouse is tap. Uh, okay. Good. Sales headers. That's, this is the table language, right? When I enter, it spills. Remember spill? So if I type something here, it can't spill. I delete this one spills. So anytime in the new Excel, you type equals to and highlight a ring, it spills. Don't give me an error, it always spill, right? 
So now that this has spilled, what I want is I want to give me exactly the data I need based on that criteria. Right? There's a new, the most powerful of all the functions is filter. The most powerful of all the new functions is filter. This guy is crazy. Yes? And you know about crazy people, they don't like shouting. <laughs> See how many arguments the guy has? How many? Is it three? Okay, three, kind of. It's just crazy. So this one, I know the entire table is called sales. So I'm just going to say sales. I want you to go and filter sales, right? Comma. And in this sales table that you are filtering, I want you to give me what? I want you to give me uh, markets, right? So I want you to give me sales um, market. Sales dot, is it dot? No, in, in uh, is this square bracket that is used in this thing. This is table way of speaking to table. Sales market, right? Sales markets, that is what? Sales market that is equal to what? Abia, right? Let, let me just close this, all right? And let's just enter. Madness. Madness. Absolute madness. So, you obviously know what's next. <laughs> but you know how you know go and say, um, okay, no, it's not just this. Right? It's what? Let me just do two. I won't do all. I'll just do two. And as I told you, and won't work. So the trick is to use a what? Use a multiply. Multiply is like the and operator. So I say multiply. And I say again, I want a sales table that is a sales. Is it sales? S? Yes. 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 Square bracket. Now we're looking for parts. Where's parts? Line of business. Um, to tab, I should type. Tab. And then close the square bracket. That is also what? Equal to this guy. Yeah. And I close my bracket. And close for fill time. Yeah. So I enter. Now, if you check the parts, it, it's only parts. Then this column is supposed to be big, so I guess I like it and maybe format it as a big control shift. What? Who knows? Control shift 3 to make it a date format. Yes, control shift 3. It's actually control hash. This hash is very popular today. So, anyway, so that's it. So I won't do the rest. The rest is simply dates. I want you to give me sales. Uh, date is greater than or equal to start date. Comma, sales, this is less than. And you just build your table, your table continues to reduce. And obviously, we know we only have one in Lagos, so if I type Lagos here, Lagos will probably not have data, so it's saying calm. This is the new error message that says this thing does not exist. Okay? It doesn't exist in your database, so please go and think of something else. Okay? Can you ahead one last time? Sorry? Okay? So, data. Let's pretend that Lagos has what? Parts. So, I, I can change data to parts. Now, since it has parts, hopefully it will not give me an error. Where are we? It should now give me that data. Right. Excel has changed forever once this thing is released. It's crazy. So, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Sorry. Um, questions? Just let me take two or three questions and then. Any questions? The what? Fire. 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 No, no, like this, I just mentioned. Ah. <laughs> Go online, watch the video. Yeah. It's, it's one thing to come to events like this and learn these kind of things. But I've noticed that it's when I have to come to my event deadline. Yes. And I'm about to lose my deadline. Yes. How do I get this? I do like tonight or something. Yes. I get it. I get it. And yes. I stick to me. Yes. 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 Where can we be able to volunteer to be able to yes. on life with it? So that you know there's some important to you as it's going So quick excellent thank you for the question. And it just takes me to the next thing I want to say. We need to form a we need all to join this group. Because I really need to be more active. This uh VI user group, right? Because what I'm we're planning is we should do monthly yeah, not not uh, talks like this, but monthly labs. So Monday last, when you come with your computer, 
and then we agree in the group what the case study is going to be. Maybe it's doing your job, your work, but remove all the sensitive information. And then say, okay, I'm going to work on this, I'm going to do Power Query in this lab. So come, somebody volunteers as an expert Power Query, comes and teaches Power Query. The next one, we're going to build a data model for Power BI. We're going to get data from election data or something. So I ask election data, oh, let's talk, let's put election data and let's come and do a Power BI model for another month. So if we're talking on the group a lot, we can do that. And I volunteer my time, and I'm sure some experts here will also volunteer their time. So that in the year, we have like 12 um, um, labs, right? And then we can have this as a quarterly talk. This quarterly talk, we bring in people to talk. Because let me tell you something. As much as possible, there are MVPs here. And if Microsoft can see people volunteering and talking, you put it in their database, you become an MVP, and there are lots of perks there. So as much as possible, let's build this group together, and let's get some, let's have a target, two MVPs by next year, three MVPs and like that, and we continue growing. The best thing is this, knowledge right, is a very funny thing. It's the only thing that when you give away, you get more back. It's the only thing in the world. You give it out, and it actually gets more. So don't hoard it, don't hoard it. And networking is another thing. There's the next Bill Gates here, there's the next Microsoft here. And all you needed to do was talk to the next person. Who has talked to the most people? Who can stand and say, I've talked, I can introduce five people or six people? What's the highest you think can you do? Just shout it out. Three, three. Anyone more than three? Not your colleagues. <laughs> not your colleagues, not your colleagues. Anyone higher than three? Three, four, four. Four, not your colleagues. Four, six. I see you. Six. Wow. Okay. Who can beat six? <laughs> Who can beat six? Can I introduce you? That that means five, right? But it can't beat six. Okay. Sorry, I'm putting you on the spot. Can you stand up? You added me. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> no. You said five. So we have small competition. We're winning the last prize, and then we're going to close. So, we're going to continue the conversation online. Please join the group, please. Join the group, and what I've said, isn't that valuable for all of us? Please, just if you join the group, let's start the conversation. So can we start out with the competition and you guys are winning the prize? The competition is simply this, name the five people. Introduce the five people. All you need to do is introduce their name, at least you try their name, and you can be just one sentence. Who are the five people? Okay. Sorry? Uche has left. Okay, Uche, okay. Who is Uche? What is Uche? Okay, okay, Uche, okay. Then who? Ayo, your neighbor? Victoria. Uh, doesn't qualify, sorry. Veronica. 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 Princess. Princess. Three. The camera guy, you're okay. Okay. You agree with your name? Is, is your name? Okay, that's four. That's four. Four. Uh, candy. Candy. Who is candy? Are you candy? <laughs> you know, you just hear something. <laughs> then, uh, then. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's not your name. Okay. <laughs> Okay, fine. Can you try? Okay, try, try. Just wait till you see Can you? Can you? Well, he mentioned the one we can't say. Yes, okay. Sorry, continue. Can you? I will buy me. I will buy me. The VLA analyst. Oh, nice. George. George. Business development guy. Princess. Princess. Um, Chi. Oh, oh, he's very smart, but I don't think I will. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry. Four, four, four. He has five. Um, David Brown? No. <laughs> 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 okay, so guess what? Both of them are getting a prize. They're getting a book too. They're getting that book. Wow. Yeah, they're getting that book. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well done, well done, well done. Please read really, it's very happy, but thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. So everybody, thank you very much for coming. And uh, we hope to agree online when we're meeting again. Yeah, because obviously I'll, I'd like the next session to be a Power BI session. To actually build a model. We can get interesting data, we agree in the group, and then next month, if you can, next month, hopefully, next month we'll do a session, a 
1 to 12. Hands on. Hands on lap. What we need is this. We need volunteers for space. So I want to say, okay, use our office. And let's say we leave it to like 50 people or something like that, because it's only in the group. Anybody that wants to come will join the group. So say, okay, we volunteer our space. Oh, I'm volunteering my time already. Volunteer my time. Someone says, okay, catering, uh, 50 people. Then 50 minutes, I volunteer 50 minutes. I volunteer this, I volunteer that. That's how we now gradually grow and continue building knowledge and sharing knowledge. Okay? So we see online. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.